Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Emily Hagen here at the Venice Boardwalk with the amazing Todd Ray of the Venice Freak Show. Well, you might get hired. You want to hear, hear how I do it? Let's, let's hear okay, here we go. All right, folks, this is the world-famous Venice Beach Freak Show, known as the strangest show on Earth. Inside, you will see 60 of the strangest creatures on Earth, 10 two-headed animals. They're all alive. Mm -hmm. You're going to pet our dog with five legs inside. You're going to see the rubber girl, the sword swallower, the fire eater, the electric lady, and the bearded lady, the human blockhead, and the wolf boy. The man is covered with hair like a werewolf. Wolf. You're going to see them all inside. Folks, for one $5 bill, you're going to get a memory of a lifetime. Come and check it out and join us in the House of Wonders. Hello, Todd Ray. Hey. Thank you for inviting us today into your House of Wonders. Thank or you. fun house, whatever you would call it. It's a freak show. A freak show. We are at the Venice Freak Show with the ringleader himself, Todd Ray. He's the one that put this whole thing together. And he's going to talk to us about how he transitioned from being a top record producer to a freak show, jar collecting, uh, wise <laughs> mad guy. Man. Yeah, yeah. madman. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, when I was a kid, I was into magic. I was uh, a young magician. And as I grew older, I got into music, and I ended up becoming, you know, a somewhat big producer in the music business. I won three Grammys, uh, my biggest one for Santana's Supernatural album. So and big. Really big. Probably the second biggest album of all time, I right. think. And then, you know, I produced people like Nas and... He's uh, all over the place. With yep, Nas, uh, Mick Jagger, Beastie Boys, a um, lot of people, uh, Cypress Hill. But uh, eventually I got to the point where I just wasn't happy uh -huh. with the lack of creativity in the music business. So um, when my heart was calling me to do something different, I decided to open the freak show. And here he is. He now has a show on AMC. And we're going to take a look inside of some of these rare collections that he has in these little jars before us. Yeah, you want to see something? I'll show you this one. This one's actually really interesting. This is a pig that was born oh, with wow. one head but two bodies. Eight legs, oh, yeah. two tails, you can see here, four ears, four ears, but only one head. And do you find these things when they're alive? Some I do. I, I always, you know, I have 30 two-headed animals that are all alive. Uh, I have a, our little dog, Rocky, has five legs, uh -huh. he's alive. But a lot of these specimens, they don't, they don't always make it when they're born so different. Now this one actually was alive for two years here, and which is the length of a normal rat. Is that a rat? This is a rat, Lalu was her name, and she was born with her sister growing out of her stomach, but just the legs. Interesting. Yes. So he obviously collects things that aren't normal, and his motto, as we were talking to Asia about, is say no to normal. Yeah, actually. Can you, oh, awesome. Here's your little button. Let me put that on real quick. <laughs> Do you want to tell everyone about how you're inspiring people to just be themselves and not fall into the social norm, whoever created that? Sure. Yeah, I mean, the idea is this, is everyone struggles with their own identity. And we never are like the other ones that they show us, you know? And, you know, with airbrushing and all that, women are struggling with self-identity. Such a struggle. Right? Everybody. Um, men with the athletes, if you don't have the perfect body. But at some point, everyone has to accept themselves. And so that's why we say, say no to normal. There is no such thing as normal. And in mm -hmm. fact, each one of us are freaks, you know? Of course we are. Yes. Well, if you were living on Mars... But not everyone knows it. Yeah. I tell people, if you lived on Mars and you looked down at Earth, you'd know there's nothing normal about this planet. Yeah. So he brought tons of people in that he wants everyone to feel at home when they're at the freak show. And where do you find all of your performers? You have a wide variety. It, it's, it varies. Uh, I found Allie through Facebook. Mm -hmm. I found Jessa through a friend, the bearded lady through a friend. I found Morg performing on the street. Um, I found the wolf boy because I'd read about him in Ripley's Believe It or Not books. And then I wanted him here. Um, Gary Stretch, I'm the stretch, man with the stretchiest skin in the world. I heard about in the UK and I brought him back. So um, that's what I do. I just, they call me the modern day Ripley. I look right. for people, uh, unusual performers, strange animals all over the world. And you said that this is the last freak show around. What happened to, why do you think the circus movement and the side shows just kind of fell off? Well, you know what it is? I think people judged it. Back in the day, they, they made it seem like it was uh, like a horror show or something, as though mm -hmm. the people were being abused, when in fact they were families, like we are. 
And that kind of gave them a niche to fit in. Yeah, and but people, I think people started thinking of these kinds of shows as a negative. And what we're here to show people is not only is it a positive, it's a very unique experience that you can only experience live mm -hmm. unless you watch the TV show. Those two places, here live and on AMC, those are the only places you can see this. And how happy are you to finally get this show and to share your vision with the world? I'm so happy. You know, it's, it, to me, you know, it's a world of wonder. And we try, to, we try to bring that to people every day. And when I get that chance to give wonder back to people, that's the biggest, that's the biggest payoff. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us in. And you guys should come to Venice. Uh, freak show on the Venice Boardwalk. It's 909 Ocean Park, I believe. Oceanfront Walk. Oceanfront Walk. And then check out the show Tuesday nights on AMC. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today at the Venice Freak Show. If you liked the video, click like and subscribe for more. And remember to always say no to normal.